Hi again. Let's talk about JavaScript and the shopping cart. Here we are again in our good old shopping cart. And uh, I'm sorry, this, this series of videos has been going on for a while. Um, but we'll, we'll do move on to something new as soon as we've explored this fully. Um, so right now we've just added an input field here that allows you to type a number in. And you can type the number in here. And, you know, if I type in 8, say, and then I refresh the page, you know, I'll get the number here. So it's it's not updating here when I type in the number. Okay, so let, let's fix that. So if we look here at, um, at our code, you can remember that we've created this list item here. So there's an li tag. And then inside the list item, there's an input tag. And this input tag is where, you know, is that input field with the number in it, right? And it's got an, a class name of item count. So a little bit lower here, uh, I have a, a little block of code here, and it says, you know, show cart dot on. So on is looking for an event, and the event we're looking for is a change event. So change event occurs when the value in an input field or a form field changes. Okay, so the number in there changes or the value, someone types a value in there or something, right, and it changes, and then you get this change event. And so we're looking for change events that happen on things inside show cart that have a class name of item count, which is the input field, okay? <clears throat> and then we get the name and the count, and then we use this new function, set count for item, okay? And so there's a few things that we need to fix. So one of them is, you know, when we call show cart and we set, you know, the, the new count for an item, right? We need to also update the display. So just like these other guys call, you know, these other functions up here are calling display cart, you know, we need to call display cart again right here, okay, to, uh, to update the display of the cart. So, so anyway, so we've got that covered. So now... You know, right right now, if I you know if I change the value in the cart, it doesn't up, update the number here, right? So if I refresh now, and then change the value in the cart, you can see that now it's updating the value here, right? So if I type in, you know, one item, and then hit return, or if I type in, you know, five items here. Now the change method occurs when the form field loses focus. Okay, so. You know, if you're inside the form field and you type a number, you know, nothing happens. But if I click outside, then it's going to get a change event, and then that's that's when the change occurs, okay? So that's working pretty good, right? And now we've, we've got one other problem, okay? And this is like a really interesting thing that happens in JavaScript, and it's a problem that comes up, you know, particular to JavaScript um, that you'll see, you know, every once in a while, it's a little hard to debug, but you'll see here, um, you know, I, I've got number one in there, and if I click here, you know, I've, I've added one, and now I have two, but we have these buttons over here also, and if I click on the plus button, what happens? Oh, wait, it says 21, it doesn't say three. What if I did it again? Oh, wait, that's kind of weird. What if I hit the minus? Well, that, that actually, for some reason, works, so what? What, oh, and now it works. Like, what's going on? Why? Let's do it again. Was that an illusion? Let's try it on this one. Plus. Oh, wait, 21. 211. Like, what is going on there, right? Okay, so l l you try and figure it out on your own, right? And then you can just pause the video here and you can try it. And then I'll go into my answer here, okay? Okay, so what's happening here is when we get the number on the change event, when we get the number, the value from the form input, it comes out as a string, okay? And when you use the plus sign with a string to say add one, and that's really what's happening here. When we click on this, it calls a function, and the function says, you know, count plus, you know, something else, right? And, you know, when you do something along these lines, you know, if you say, you know, in JavaScript, you say, you know, two plus one, you know, that equals three. But if you have a string that's two and you say plus one, this equals 21. 
right? And then if you did, you know, and that actually it equals 21 as a string, right? So then if we did, you know, 21 plus 1, we get 211, right? So uh, so that's what's going on there. I think what happens with the minus sign here is that, uh, you know, if we took, you know, 21 and we subtract 1, now one, the, the plus sign doesn't have any special interaction with the string, so JavaScript sees that you're trying to do a math operation in that case, and it converts this string into a number, and then here we get 20, right? So let, let's let's see that again in in the the page here, right? I'll refresh that, and uh, you know here if I do the plus sign, oh now it's working, but let's uh, let's type a number in there like 217. So as soon as I do this, and we activate the code that works with the form field, it converts the number into a a string. And now when I click the plus button, since there's a string in our array where the number was, you know we're adding you know, um, numbers on there, that if I hit subtract, it does the math with the minus sign, and then we're, now we're subtracting again, and, and, you know, the regular math start, starts working again. So where does that happen, right? So, you know, let's actually, we'll get rid of this for right now, right? So where does that happen, okay? So when we did this function here, set item for, you know, set count for item, and we're setting the value of count here. Count is coming from our call to this function above the value here, but it's actually coming in as a string. And so then when we set count here to the new count value, you know, you know, we'll put an exclamation point and say string, right? Because that's that's where you know we're getting a string by accident, right? Okay. So how do we fix this, right? So now where where do we call you know set count for item? Let's go find that. Right, when I'm up here and I, I look at show cart on change item, whatever, right, item count, um, here's the count, right? And when I say this dot value, then the value is coming out as a string. So how can we make sure that's a number? Let's use number, right? So number is a special, you know, name for a class of objects that are numbers. And, you know, if you... If you call number with the parentheses, the value here is converted to a number if it's possible to convert it to a number, right? Okay, so let's give that a try. Here, we'll refresh it. And then our problem was, you know, if we had a value here and we clicked on the button here, it became a string, right? So now this would have been a string before, and if I hit the plus sign, you know, over here, then it would have just added a one on the end. But now it seems to be working okay, right? Okay, so there you go. So there's our other problem solved there. Um, I hope that's useful information on debugging. And, uh, you know, maybe that'll just, you know, kind of, you know, point out like how, you know, a variable can store any type of value, like a string or a number. And sometimes they can get converted one to the other. And in some cases, you know, that doesn't generate an error. It just makes the, op makes the, the computer, you know, act unpredictably, right? And in those cases, you know, you can look for what happens, like when, you know, the plus sign is adding the character to the end of the string rather than adding it numerically, right? That'll, that'll be a clue to what's going on, right? So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that was interesting. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll probably continue with this shopping cart for a little while longer. I think there's a few more things we can do with this, right? And if you guys have any questions or you want to you know, post any comments, feel free to, to post them underneath the video here and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, thanks.